if I was if I had to again take a position on it, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the brand name, which is Bitcoin. I'm going to assume that it's the wrong price for the possibilities that it has. Uh, and I'm going to assume that the path forward from here is north. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Thinking Crypto channel. I've got big news to share with you guys. Morgan Stanley, the Wall Street giant, is looking to take a position in Bitcoin. And of course they are because all the others are looking to do so, like BlackRock, JP Morgan, and so on and so forth. Also, Bitcoin is getting mainstream coverage. I'm going to show you a, a highlight from CNN, and it includes Jay-Z and Jack Dorsey. And we're going to talk about many different cities and states and counties across the United States are looking uh, to, to set up the ability for folks to pay their taxes in Bitcoin. We're going to break it down. Before we do, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. It helps support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. Guys, Bitcoin right now just moving sideways, going through its respective market cycles. Um, we could certainly be hitting $50,000 very soon. It's just a matter of the market cycles, right? Both from a micro and macro level. So I think we're going to build some support levels here, maybe at the $47,000 mark. And um, look, it could it could go down a little bit more to maybe 42, and then we work our way up. We've seen these things play out before, right? You have your respective pump up, you have your correction and your consolidation period, you build your support levels, then you move back up. So we have to be patient. But of course, guys, the macro level charts are pointing to $100,000 plus. Here's an updated uh, chart here from Plan B, who created the stock to flow model. And as you can see, he tweeted here, Bitcoin on track for $100,000 between April and September. And of course, the supply and demand economics are playing out. We are seeing record breaking demand for Bitcoin and the market cycles are playing out again. And you may say, well, how, how is that possible? How is it playing out? Well, Bitcoin has the having the mathematical formula of the having built in, meaning that the supply is cut in half at every having. So you have a, a supply and demand economics uh, in play. Now, due to the pandemic, due to money printing and inflation at record pace and numbers, you're seeing a higher demand for Bitcoin. And in the, historically, that used to be gold. The demand used to be for gold. You move your cash into gold. But now Bitcoin is the digital gold, gold 2.0. And it has much stronger properties, obviously being digital, the ability to move it um, much seamlessly, to custody it much, seam much seamless, seamless, uh, seamlessly. I couldn't say that. And obviously, you can just uh, buy and sell at any point, right? You can't really do that with gold. So I think you guys understand uh, the digital versus analog uh, analogy here. But things are on track. And that's why I have Bitcoin in my portfolio. And it looks like Morgan Stanley is looking to do so. So here's the headline. A $150 billion investment unit of Morgan Stanley is exploring Bitcoin report. Now, I keep it real with you guys. They've already taken a position. You say, you may say, well, Tony, how do you know that, man? You're, you're just, you could be lying. I'm going off of the track record of Jamie Dimon, JP Morgans, and all these other folks. And the fact that BlackRock has already taken a position. They've been going on TV, Googling Heim Fund. Do you think Morgan Stanley's been sitting on its laurels while all those things have been happening? No, they've taken a position. Um, the fact that Tesla has put uh, Bitcoin on its balance sheet, you think these guys and Morgan Stanley are just sitting around twiddling their fingers and thumbs? No, guys, they've taken a position. And they are going to start slowly letting the information release um, and get you know, get a sense of what's happening and they'll build up the momentum to get a lot of press and visibility. So let me give you the details. Counterpoint Global, a unit of Morgan Stanley Investment Management, is exploring whether it will make a bet on Bitcoin, according to a Bloomberg News report. Citing sources, the report said that the unit, which manages $150 billion, would need approvals from the wider firm and regulators to make such an investment. Still, it represents Wall Street's broader push into cryptocurrency, which is increasingly being viewed as an inflation hedge. So that's the key 
use case there. Some people are saying Bitcoin has no use case. It is digital gold. It's an inflation hedge. And the free market, the money is showing you that, right? When you look at the Guggenheim Fund, Paul Tudor Jones is Stanley Druckenmiller, Bill Miller, all these Wall Street guys putting money into it. And here, a spokesperson for Morgan Stanley declined for comment on Bloomberg's report, but they are certainly in position. I, I, I don't believe they are now thinking about investing. I think they have a position. Now, obviously, they, they could take a greater position, but if you've been a subscriber of this channel, I've shown you guys many different smoke and mirrors moves from Jamie Dimon to Mr. Wonderful, um, uh, uh, Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank, uh, Mark Cuban. These guys have said one thing at one point, then they switch the narrative, right? They go on TV, they, they say the, uh, they point the masses in one direction, they do the opposite. Look, I, I'm not hating on them. Um, this is how they've done it for a long time with uh, media. But what's, what's great about how we can see this now is because of the internet, because things are archived. They are no longer lost. In 2013, they said this, and then nobody has a clip, right? It's it's not the, the pre-internet days it, where you couldn't go back unless you video recorded it, but then it can't reach the masses, if you understand what I'm saying. Information is distributed, it's on the web, it's stored on the web. So we are able to see the contrast. We're able to look back and say, hey, wait a minute, you guys were saying this. Now you're flipping the narrative, you're flipping the script. They do that to make money. And this was even very apparent. I think the Wall Street bets movement uh, really exposed this, right? Because we saw that the hedge fund guys got exposed because they would go on CNBC and say something negative about a company if they're trying to short it or if they're trying to go long, they'll say something positive and talk it up, right? That's the whole game that's been played for a long time on the masses and how these guys make a lot of money. But look, Morgan Stanley's big. They've got $715 billion uh, under assets under uh, assets under management. And um, it, it, once again, I, I think they already have a position. This is just the news they're, they're releasing now. Now, check this out, guys. We talked about it in yesterday's video. Jack Dorsey and Jay-Z are launching a Bitcoin fund to help uh, boost crypto efforts in India and Africa. And here, it's getting coverage on CNN. So we're going mainstream, guys. You got big names like Jay-Z and who has a following, obviously a hip-hop artist. So this is really great. I'm not going to go through the news because we talked about it yesterday. But you're going to see more and more of this, guys. And I think once we hit $50,000, in, um, we're going to see a huge retail crowd coming in, FOMOing. Because there's, look, you and I who are here already and have a position, we, we've been here for a long time. We are ahead of the adoption curve. We are, I should say, we are ahead of the curve entirely, right? We are early adopters, guys, and we have the position to make significant returns. We've done our research. This is not like, oh, follow the crowd. Oh, I heard my neighbor talk about it. No, no, we've been here. We've been watching the news. We've been studying what the institutional investors have been doing and the building of the infra infrastructure of the market. So you're going to have a big retail FOMO who's just going to follow the crowd. Oh, Bitcoin's 50000 Oh, man, I need to FOMO in and buy, right? Um, and then they'll tell their aunts and uncles and whoever else and you know people follow the crowd. But you don't want to be a, a crowd follower because you, you, you will end up in the dumb money crowd where you're not doing research, where you're not uh, buying the lows and the dips in the bear market. You're buying the top, which, uh, as we saw in previous bull runs and in other markets, right, people who buy the top, they get left holding the bag. That's not to say this is some sort of Ponzi pump and dump scheme. There's intrinsic value here, but just like stocks, if you go buy Tesla at the top because, um, you know, it's like these new this news is happening and so forth, but you didn't follow the market cycles with Tesla and buy at the right point. Same principle, right? You you become the dumb money crowd. You want to be in the smart money crowd, guys. Um, here, guys, we got this uh, cool news. No cash on hand, you may be able to pay Broward, uh, Broward County in Bitcoin. You may say, well, where the hell is Broward County? Well, it's a county in the state of Florida, and this is on the Sun Sentinel. So this is a uh, website uh, dedicated to news in Florida, and uh, this is a trend that we're seeing. You guys recall my interview with the mayor of Miami, who's looking to allocate some of the city's treasury to Bitcoin and pay employ city employees with bitcoin and have people pay their taxes in bitcoin so the news the movement is spreading here guys this is great 
And if you have companies putting Bitcoin on their balance sheets, you have cities, states, and so forth putting Bitcoin in the balance sheet, $100,000 is going to be very easy. And you know we're going to head to a million in the years to come. I'm not saying this year. I'm talking about the future bull runs, right? So Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency that is still cryptic to many Americans, could become a form of payment for Broward County. County commissioners are scheduled to discuss the idea of allowing residents to use the electronic money Bitcoin to pay bills, as well as the potential for the country to invest in it uh, to beef up the coffers. Vice Mayor Michael Udine, who's asking for the conversation on February 23rd, said the county likely wouldn't start off accepting small uh, amounts likely, like a library fine or rent on a park pavilion, but he envisions the possibility of the public using it to pay a tax bill or developers who need to spend thousands of dollars in permits. This is awesome, guys. And of course, they talk about, you know, look, Broward County goes this route. It would follow the city of Miami. And once again, I spoke to the mayor of Miami. If you haven't seen that interview, link in the description. And this is great news. This is great news if you hold Bitcoin and even just crypto. Remember what I always say on this channel, guys. Bitcoin is the rising tide that lifts all boats. It pulls the alts with it. Um, that is certainly true. Bitcoin moves, then you have alt season, right? The money moves between the two, and that's why I diversify. I have Bitcoin, I have uh, Ethereum, XRP, Cardano, uh, Litecoin, Chainlink, and, and you guys, I've shared my portfolio with you. Uh, those of you who are channel members have access, direct access to my portfolio breakdown. So things are moving ahead. I'm so bullish, guys. Um, I, you know, I, I'm just sitting back and watching my portfolio just increase significantly. And I'm sure many of you are as well. You know, everything is pretty much up now. And this, this, this is the, 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 what you generally happens in a bull market. So enjoy it while you can. It doesn't last forever. There will be a bear market eventually. That's why I always point you guys to the macro level charts. And you, and if you say, stay subscribed to this channel, I will update you. Hey, look, we're headed to the top. Be careful, take your profits or know what you're doing there, right? Because there's going to be a bear market after. So keep that in mind. Um, and those are the things you want to be aware of because remember, the, the, the dumb money, right, buys the top. We want to buy the low and sell the top. So uh, just, just keep that in mind, guys. Now, BlockFi, which is a platform that I use, and if you want to sign up with them, there's a link in the description. Um, you can, of course, lend your crypto and earn interest and this is very important to, as, as a way to earn passive income well they continue to grow man they, they launched a bitcoin trust to compete with uh grayscale and here they are raising a series d funding round at 2.85 billion dollars pre-money valuation so, uh, according to sources that's very bullish they've they've certainly got a first mover advantage here with the whole lending and borrowing of crypto and this is going to be continue to grow. So um, just keep that in mind. You can do this and earn uh, interest. If you're just holding your crypto long term, just lend it out and earn interest. And it's secure. And obviously, everything's on the blockchain and they are insured. So uh, this is certainly a way to earn, guys. So the firm is looking to raise $150 million ahead of the launch of a new credit card product and public market debut by the end of the year. Now the block, since this is an, kind of an exclusive report, uh, they, they want me to pay to read the rest of the article. So uh, as always guys, I will never make you pay to see content. I created this channel to spread facts and news and information about the crypto. Um, no super hyping you up or whatever, but what are the facts? As an investor, what are some of the things you need to pay attention to and take a logical reality-based view? There are many folks who, you know, I, I don't know what it is, man. Maybe this is the era. They put conspiracy theories with crypto. They, they make up all kinds of nonsense. But we want facts, guys. And this is why I tried to bring you guys the interviews as well. I've interviewed Michael Saylor, CZ, the Mayor of Miami, the Winklevoss twins. So I hope you guys are checking these interviews out because you're hearing from the people who are building and investing in the market. Um, obviously, my interview with Jeremy Allaire was published yesterday. Check it out. This guy was one of the people who helped build the internet. Him and his brother uh, invented Cold Fusion, one of the programming languages, guys. He was at uh, he founded Brightcove to help video distribution on the web, and he was at Macromedia uh, developing Flash and all that. I mean, it's amazing to see these folks who were in the dot-com boom and error are now 
taking a position in crypto, they're building in a crypto market. So certainly it's an opportunity of a lifetime to invest in it, um, obviously to build your own business or work in this industry. It's only going to continue to grow. And uh, I'm very bullish on it. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I make enough uh, money in this bull run to maybe go full-time crypto. I don't know. And I've shared my cash out plan. I would love to uh, cash out, not all my crypto. I'm lending, staking some of my crypto and holding some forever. But also, uh, I want to cash out some to pay off my mortgage so I can be financially free from that standpoint. So once again, being very transparent with you guys, those are the things I'm thinking about. And um, like I said, I am up significantly. <laughs> and as I'm sure many of you, your portfolios look amazing right now. Uh, those of you who are entering the market, pay attention to the macro level cycles here. You got to know where you're at. We're still relatively early compared to obviously, you know, the previous cycles, but there's going to come a point where we hit that peak and you got to make sure if you are cashing out, you take your profits and then get ready for the bear market. But you can still make money in the bear market by lending your crypto staking right i stake tezos you can stake ethereum um obviously you can stake algorand and and uh, um I, i'm earning like staking rewards off of uh, v chain or earn v thor and all that so i gotta make a video to show you guys what i'm doing um on a stake from the staking standpoint but obviously i need to be careful there because i don't want to show my my actual holdings and all that so i'll, I'll need to edit out a few things. So uh, be patient with me there and I'll, I'll put that together for you guys. So guys, what do you think? Could Bitcoin hit $50,000 uh, soon? I, I think so. I think within the next uh, week and a half or two weeks, it's possible. But look, we, we, you know, I, no one can predict the future, but um, certainly we will keep going higher. We are in a bull market, right? And um, even if Bitcoin, like I said, dips down to 42,000, that's okay. It's building the support levels just like it did here, right, to move up. And these things are important for the market cycles, guys, and for building sustainable price movements. So leave your thoughts and comments below, share this video, hit the thumbs up button, and I'll talk to you guys later.